hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with West Brom reporter Matt Wilson. Matt, not a bad day on Sunday going to Old Trafford. Darren Moore, give him the job now. <laughs> yeah, that's give him the job now. That's what a few fans are saying, actually. Yeah. Um, listen, it's early days. Um, I think it's too early to be talking about that, to be honest, because it's been two games mm -hmm. and uh, 180 minutes of football, that's it. But, you know, he has done a remarkable job and he deserves a lot of credit as does by the way goalkeeping coach Neil Cutler mm -hmm. and under 23's boss James Shan who are both quite regularly out there with him yeah, um, very close on the touchline mm -hmm. um, and it seems to be a real you know team effort there on um, that coaching staff um, and yeah he's done more than anyone really expected and more mm -hmm. than anyone um, demanded of him um, and I think he's gone about it in exactly the right way. Uh, he's made Albion simple yeah. and difficult to beat. Uh, they're playing an orthodox 4-4-2 with, with a lot of players that are playing in their right positions. He's mm -hmm. put square pegs into square holes, um, and he's he's you know he's made them tough to break down initially. But when they get the ball, they spread it wide, um, and they they've got two pacey wingers, and it's you know it's really simple stuff, mm. but. It's working, yeah. and um, you know, after the game yesterday, mm -hmm. Jose Mourinho summed it up. I thought when he came in and said we were masters in overcomplicating it, yeah. and the insinuation was that Albion played it simple, mm -hmm. and they did, and they were brilliant. So, I guess that the, the the question is, why have they done this all season? If they can go to Old Trafford and produce a performance like that, and I guess James, James McLean kind of summed it up with those comments after after full time. It's a really good question, and um, you know there are, there are two ways of looking at it. There's been some interesting comments that have come out mm. from the players after mm -hmm. that, like you say from James McLean, basically saying, you know, this is what happens when we're set up properly. Um, ben Foster also saying that um, you know praising Darren Moore, but it, it, I suppose alluding to the fact that not all the players were were completely convinced or behind Alan Pardew. Yeah, um, and you know you could see that really in the last few games of his tenure that you know his um, instructions from the sidelines were being greeted with quizzical looks, mm. and um, you know we we know about Chris Brunt's. Um, not rant, but his you know his, his anger in the dressing room, and we yeah. know about Krakowiak um, coming off and, and, and having a having a, uh, a go at him. So, listen, it it looks like what what Darren has done is got them set up, mm -hmm. got them organised, got them disciplined, and he's given them a, a plan. And and you know, as I've said, it's a simple plan, yeah. but it's an effective plan. Yeah. And I don't think they necessarily had that under Pardew. We even had a, a Daniel Sturridge sighting as well. Yeah, we did. Uh, he didn't do too much because he was only on the pitch for a few minutes. Um, you know, I'll be but he finished the game. He, he did finished finish the game. game. He did finish the game. You know, I, I, I actually wrote on Saturday that I'd, I'd rather see the likes of Ollie Burke and mm -hmm. Sam Field given a game. Daniel Sturridge isn't going to be here next no. season. Yeah. Um, but listen, it, Moore was trying to close out a, a, a really big win for the club. Yeah. And so you can understand why he put on the likes of Krakowiak and Sturridge to try, mm -hmm. and uh, you know quality players to try and shore it up. You know mm -hmm. Krakowiak went on and he d he did actually shore things up a little bit on the right hand <coughs> side. So you can understand why he's doing that, mm -hmm. um, especially considering relegation isn't confirmed mm -hmm. yet. Maybe once it's confirmed, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll see a few more of those younger players. And with that with that win, it gives them a chance against Liverpool. They can't go down against Liverpool, and you know it'll give them confidence to maybe have a go at them with the, with the Champions League game in midweek for them. They might have one eye on that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's the interesting thing, isn't it? So Liverpool have got a Champions League semi a few days later. Mm -hmm. They're probably going to rest some of their big players. Albion will be brimming, brimming with confidence. Yeah. They're, I, they're nine points back with four games to go. It's very unlikely that they're going to get of out course. of this. I mean, in fact, it's, it's nearly impossible. It would be a miracle. But if they beat Liverpool, oh, you never know. And yeah. Swansea lose to Man City, which they probably will. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, it's six points. Yeah. And three yeah. games. Yeah. And, you know, you never know. I, look, it's not going to happen. <laughs> but it, it, it's nice that we're talking about yes. the possibility yeah. that it could happen. And it's nice to just talk in a positive way. Yeah. Positive way, isn't it? It is, and credit credit to Darren Moore because I think the way he's gone about it, this is mm. he's done it absolutely perfectly. You mm. know, he's 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 brought the whole squad together. We asked him yesterday, "How did you do this? How did you turn this team that couldn't couldn't buy a win into mm. a team capable of doing that yeah. against the second best team in the country?" And he said, "Look, all I've done is I, I've come in and I've mm. treated everybody the same, whether you're a player, whether you're a member mm. of the coaching team, whether you're a staff, and that's unified the squad. And you can tell that based yeah. on what the likes of Ben Foster and Jay Rodriguez were saying after the game. He's unified them, mm. not just the squad, but the whole club and the fans as well. And he deserves a lot of credit for that because it looked." Like there was no chance of anything of anything being salvaged mm -hmm. from this poisonous season yeah. just a few weeks ago, and he's managed to do that 
like I said, with Cutler and Shan uh, alongside him. Whether it's enough uh, for him to get the job full time, look, it's really early days on that. Sure. I, I think he's, if this is a great audition um, so far, but I actually think you know he's, an, he's quite inexperienced. Um, so let's just see where it goes. Um, what I do think it's done is it is proven to me that he's earned the right to stay at the club. Um, regardless of what happens in the summer so mm. you know if they bring in someone hopefully that person mm. realizes that he's important mm. and I need to keep him around the first team as a coach or maybe even an assistant um, because I think he's, he's had such a galvanizing effect on the squad um, that I'd love to see him stay congrats to everyone who was involved in that win on Sunday for all the build up to the Liverpool game make sure you log on to expressandstar.com